twisted this a little bit loose up here, so. There we go. You may That's be wondering, better. flying slow, bro. Where are you headed? Well, I'm headed to church, fellas. Because soccer's over. So, that's where I'm headed. Church greeter, so my job is to stand outside and greet everybody who comes into church. I wasn't able to for the last couple of weeks because I had soccer. So, I'm back to work. So, see you guys in a minute. I stand, I stand right here, and this is where I greet people from. Right up here at the no, church. I'm up here at Grandma and Grandpa's house. It's... Probably about, I'd say, 35 degrees. Quite sunny out. Um, and there's the basketball hoop right Welcome there. Welcome to an episode of Cooking with Matthew. Um, so, here's the bread. What I need to do is I need to saw off a piece of bread. There's one piece. Might be a little bit on the thick side, so Let's try to make the other one a little bit on the thin side. Okay, food. And there we go. A little bit thin. Um, so next we put the bread over here and put a little bit of mustard on the bread. Then, after that, we grab the cheese, which is over here. Um, this is Jarlsberg um, cheese. So, there it is. Put this out of the way. So, Oops, a little bit too thin. There's slice one. Oops. <laughs> slice two. And slice three. Slice four. One more slice should do it. And then there's slice five. You have your bread. You slap on your cheese, like so. Um, like so. Just to dab more mustard to stick things together. Now I need some now lettuce. Now you got some lettuce. You slice up the lettuce. And then you add a little bit of lettuce. That's enough lettuce. Okay, so rest of the lettuce you can eat. Um, then you just slop on the other piece of bread, and you got yourself a sandwich. See how it tastes. I'm not gonna lie, mostly bread, but it tastes pretty good. Putting <laughs> up grandma's snowshoes into the car, so. That's what at Taylor right Creek now. State Forest right now, and I am on my snowshoes. Um, so across our first tracks of the day, I believe they are turkey tracks. So this is a beautiful stream coming through the beaver pond here. Um, there's the island that's in the middle of the beaver pond. It's quite an easy climb, I'd say so. Even with wet snowshoes. Looks like somewhat like a rock pile here. Here we're heading off trail. We're gonna head up this. This might be a skitter trail that we're coming to right here. So stay tuned with what we find. Looks like we found a skitter trail. We're navigating by the sun. We're heading a little bit to the right of the sun, which is southwest. So, that way, we're heading in this direction, which is southwest. Underneath us, there is um, swamp water. I'm heading straight up this hill. Looks like, um, I'd say, a bunch of deer rested on it. So, I'm heading up it. 
pretty much directly. So we'll meet you guys at the top. So I'm making the final ascent. Right now, unless at the top, this is probably one of the steeper hills I've climbed. There's some surprisingly tall trees up the top here. I'm guessing they're 1,100 feet. Because out the base it was like 850 or something like that. So there's the look down. Right there. Hey guys, this is a cliff. Or at least, well, it looks to be one. Um, pretty big cliff, I'd say. Um, so I've wound up in this area here, in this big mass of trees, and I think I found the way through between that mass and that mass. But mid to the Buck try. Pond Road, um, right here. Um, it's a seasonally used road, but it seems to be plowed, so. Yeah, for like a half hour walk in Grandma and Grandpa's woods because oh, well, dinner is like 45 minutes from now, so. Um, I'm just heading out in the woods for half an hour alone. So, yeah, see what I can find. I know these woods like the back of my hand. Ooh, that's new. <laughs> For example, there's a Matthews Trail sign, and oh, well, pretty much I know everything around this here. This thing right here, on Grandma and Grandpa's land, was a hay baler back a long time ago. Um, and where I'm standing right now was a house. Over there, yes, that house is abandoned too. Um, so. Um, yeah, this hay bale are probably 1860s, I'd say. No older than that, I'd say. Well, 1850s, possibly. 